Some days call for cocktails before noon. Hey guys, welcome to another bourbon review here on my channel. I am Clifton, and today we are reviewing High West American Prairie Manhattan Barrel Finished. Now, if you know me, you know I love all things High West. I think they are one of the most innovative distilleries when it comes to finished single barrel products. So you can see the info there. Um, it was finished for one year and two months in a barreled Manhattan barrel. High West actually releases a pre-mixed Manhattan that's been barrel aged. So what this is, is taking that barrel that they aged the Manhattan in and putting whiskey back in it and aging it again. It's so complicated, but so interesting. And that's what I love the most about it. So I've actually tried the High West uh, barreled Manhattan. Um, I don't currently have a bottle of it, but I do remember it being good. Um, I just think Manhattans are such an easy cocktail to do yourself that like I preferred to make my own um, just using fresh ingredients and so I thought today I thought it'd be really fun to compare this to an actual Manhattan. So I used the barrel of Manhattan aged whiskey to make a Manhattan. It's a mouthful. Now this is a pretty basic Manhattan recipe. I'll put it over there, but it's basically two parts uh, bourbon or rye. I used um, this American Prairie bourbon. One part vermouth, which I prefer to use uh, this one. It's called Carpano Antica. Um, you can recognize it by the red label at the top. Um, it's used by a lot of bars. There's a bar here called Seven Grand that uses it for their Manhattans. So that's my go-to uh, vermouth. And of course, a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, which I mean, you all, most people have this on hand if they make cocktails regularly. And typically you garnish it with a uh, Luxardo cherry. I actually am out of it, so I just put a little bit of cherry juice in there. So that's the cocktail. I do want to taste the whiskey itself first and then go to the Manhattan just to make sure I'm not influenced by those notes too early on. So let's go ahead and pour the American Prairie. So on the nose, it's very, very similar to a Manhattan. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be that similar. Really fruity, really, um, you get a little bit of that bitterness from the vermouth or even maybe from the bitters. I mean, I don't even know where it's coming from, but I think this one needs a taste to really get a fully justified opinion of it. Cheers. So it doesn't drink as high proof as a lot of the other ones I've had. This one is only 52%. Um, I, I assume that's cast strength. They may, I could be wrong. Maybe they do, you know, filter it down a little bit, but I do know it's a higher proof than the standard release. But man, that is fruity. That is like drinking a cocktail. It's way more influenced by the Manhattan than I thought. I've had both a scotch finished product from High West as well as a, I think it was a Cabernet finished one. Both of those were, you know, like subtle influence. This though, I think it's because it was from such a fruity cocktail concoction. All of those flavors seeped into the barrel and came right back into the whiskey. So I, I, I really dig this. It's so unique. I, I love that really fruit forward note that you don't get on just a regular, you know, unfinished whiskey. You get it on a lot of sherry finish or port finished. Um, one of my favorite High West products is their Midwinter's Night Dram. And this reminds me a lot of it. Less of those like Christmas baking spices, but more of that rich, fruity, um, almost like a, I would say maybe like a cherry cobbler, like a blueberry cobbler note. So let's go ahead and try this compared to the actual Manhattan. Cheers. That one, it's less of the fruity notes. The fruity notes are there on the finish, but that one, that vermouth is more of like a bitter, bitter at first, but really, really sweet. I mean, there's a lot of sweetness in this that isn't quite in the whiskey. I don't think that sweetness comes through. I think it's more of the actual fruit flavors that come through. But you know, it's actually a damn good Manhattan. I mean, if you ever want to make a Manhattan with a Manhattan barrel aged whiskey, you know, it's worth a try because <laughs> I don't know if it necessarily complements the Manhattan itself, but honestly, it just makes a really good whiskey for this drink. So final thoughts on the whiskey itself. I highly, highly recommend you check out the single barrel selects of High West. You may not have a Manhattan barreled one. Um, if you're watching this review, maybe your store has one and you're curious about it. If so, definitely pick this up, but I'm going to give a very overarching message. Try High West single barrel barrel finished products. I think it's so cool, so innovative, and I really can't recommend them enough. I paid $55 for this, I think, and it's, first of all, it's over 100 proof. It's finished and it's just a really cool product and it's really unique. So High West American Prairie finished in barrel aged Manhattan barrels. 
gets my definite recommendation. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want me to do more cocktail focused videos. I mean, of course, I would prefer to have an actual cherry in here. I'll buy actual supplies if I do more of them. But if you're watching this before May 7th, I'm going to go live on Thursday, May 7th um, for a birthday stream. That's actually my birthday. So if you're around uh, around 930 Eastern, um, come hang out in the live stream. And if you're not subscribed, love if you could subscribe. And if you hit the bell button, you get notified when I go live. So that way you won't miss it. So looking forward to that and looking forward to more cocktails and more whiskey. So I'll be classy. I'll toast you guys with the Manhattan. But yeah, I'm here to help you drink good whiskey and High West makes fantastic whiskey. Cheers. Mm -hmm.